It's been a few hours since Frontier released the first ever Elite Dangerous Odyssey gameplay trailer to an eager community of waiting commanders. At the same time they also released some new screenshots with even more detail we'd not seen before. The whole trailer is only a minute and 20 seconds long, it packs a fair amount in and it all moves by at quite a pace. Because we're completely obsessed we've been over it and the screenshots with a fine tooth comb and here's what you might have missed. If you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. So the gameplay trailer first then. Here we go. 6 seconds in as a cobra approaches an icy world with a light atmosphere there's a really big mountain sticking up in the bottom right of the planet. 13 seconds in we're looking at a view over a desert world. There appears to be what we think are some light atmospheric cloud effects. At 24 seconds the character is leaving footprints in the dirt and kicking up puffs of dust as they walk. 28 seconds in this guy is wearing armour and a skin of design type we've not seen before. The SRV has no one sitting in it meaning you can leave your SRV. Also this guy has his hands on his hips and kind of looks impatient with you. 29 seconds in shoulder mounted flashlight. At 33 seconds in a seamless exit from an interior to an exterior environment. No loading screens. 36 seconds ground installation on an ice world that is really bringing an antarctic base vibe. Not of a type we've seen before. 38 seconds as a commander walks away from their landed cobra more atmospheric cloud effects. 41 seconds in a commander walks into Asta Hope 2 ground installation. Note it's apparently not on fire. This is important. 43 seconds our first look at combat. Bottom left a guy throws a grenade. Throwable grenades confirmed. Also it looks like it might be a sticky grenade as there's a red flashing light where the grenade hit on a vertical surface. 45 seconds in magazine being changed in an assault rifle. It's also possible this shot shows a rifle launched grenade. 47 seconds in we see the same rifle being fired. It has a recoiling barrel section on top. Also there's a puff of blood on the character getting shot. 48 seconds ...oh those sweet fire effects complete with heat haze. Throughout the following sections we see players moving at different speeds with rifles raised and lowered meaning we have sprint and walk mechanics with aiming down your sights being important. This is a more tactical shooter. 50 seconds you see someone's personal shields flaring as they are hit with gunfire. 51 seconds this guy getting hit and the blue sparkly thing that appears different to the shield effects we'd seen previously and then he appears to reel backwards possibly stunned by something. 53 seconds in this graphic confirms that the previously not on fire Asta's Hope 2 is now very much on fire. Also aiming down the scope confirmed. 1 minute and 5 seconds flashlight attachment on the backpack seen again from the rear. Are those equipment slots? So moving on to the screenshots then. Everything in this next section mostly came to us via our eagle eyed son Commander Reno Solis. The company making this rifle is called Takada. It's an energy weapon and it uses an 81 kilowatt hour charge pack as its ammo. We get our first look at Odyssey's first person HUD elements including the scales of justice to indicate a players wanted status, the hollow indicator that signifies a player character that we're used to from our starships extends to the ground portions of the game. We're guessing the solid blocks are gun emplacements. The radar HUD element contains a nice simple north indicator for quick orientation. Local temperature and gravity strength are indicated on the HUD as well as the longitude and latitude of the player. The HUD contains target overlaid details showing health, shield strength as well as a spread indicator for outgoing rounds. A counter for both regular ammunition and grenades is shown overlaid on the weapon. The grenade counter appears to show shock grenades. 
This shot shows a sidearm pistol being used. It also has a different indicator for grenades from the previous shot. That's pretty much different grenade types confirmed right there. There's a more complex HUD element in the bottom left that we think shows power indicators for sensors, jetpacks, overall power, shield systems and oxygen levels. And finally we think this is the glorious gaming trope of an exploded barrel. So there was a lot to take in there but did we miss anything? Can you see something we didn't? Let us know in the comments below. We've got the next developer diary to look forward to before the month is out and Frontier have said that the focus of the diary is on combat. We cannot wait for that. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.